Welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Buckle, and you, fishing with Uncle Buck. Had such a good time down there in North Carolina fishing those missions up that I decided to go on down and spend about three or four days down there and farm that some of those flathead catfish. They're a lot of fun. You get, I had forgot about how many, how fun it is, and you can make a good buck down there doing that. If you get tired of fishing the walleye up at Emerald, you can always drop down here. It's not that expensive, really, if you look at it. Thirty-three hundred to get there, eleven hundred for a license. So forty-four hundred bucks. You can pay for that in half a day. And I take a five hundred fifty-pound net. And I can fill that before noon. Well, we're gonna go down there and spend three or four days. Make about oh, what did we make there the last time? I think I made three days, thirty-five. $35,000 in three days. I figured I'd spend five days down there, probably get me one of them marker boys for doing the five days. I haven't done that completion yet. So that'll get me a free marker boy and three gold. So, with that being said, <clears throat> let's take a look at what we're gonna take. Now, I'm not doing missions now, so this is right now my end game stuff. I'm just gonna go down there and yank. I don't wanna play around with these 13 pound Sixth grade poles with these big catfish on me just takes too damn long to pull them in, especially when I get two or three on at a time. So we're gonna take first two positions. We're gonna take the heavy chasers. One and two. We're gonna use duck muscle on them. We're gonna put some bait up here so you can see the baits that we're taking. So position one, we got a heavy chaser. Two, heavy chaser. Three. We're taking the Majesty SE with large cut on that one. Four. We're taking. Now this is my lightest pole that I'm taking. He did he did fairly decent against those catfish. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him along. He got he he won he won the right to come along on this trip. <clears throat> so we're gonna take that feeder. Gonna take the Arctic. Probably throw keep min, large minnows on him. What did I have on the feeder? Medium cut bait. And we're gonna take the other Majesty. So crawdads on him. And then I always bring me a, a bass rod because there's a lot of bass there. So you can grab a lot of bass while we're waiting for them catfish to hit. <laughs> if you get a chance to breathe. So that's the gear that we're going to take. Make sure that you get yourself a license. And I'll meet you down there in North Carolina. We'll get this farming started. All right, here we are in the river. We're gonna drop in here at Rebel of Old Times. Now, our peak doesn't start till the afternoon, one o'clock to about five, six, seven, a little more in the afternoon. Um, but I always get something early in the morning on any waterway that I'm on for the first part of the day. So we're gonna hit it up anyway. Uh, before, if, if, if the bite dies off, then we'll, we'll bump it up a little bit. So we're gonna drop in there. So let's head down. Now, I like to set up right here. And we throw right in under that tree. And they run, them catfish run right along that edge over there. So we'll start with some bottom feeders off the bat first. All right, sticks are loaded, weapons are in the water. <laughs> Here we go.
boys ain't no match for the heavy chasers now are you i ain't down here with them little omni floats no more beat my gear up enough Alright, let's get that other pole back in the water. And slower. Oh, you want to fight a little bit? I'll dance with you. You ain't gonna do much dance with nobody. Little 20 pounder, 482. I'm not getting any XP with these fish, but I'm close enough that I figured that ah, wouldn't my matter. I'll catch enough fish that I should level up. Alright, that was a little short, but we'll catch a lollygagger. Alrighty. And we're dancing with a duo. I think the magic bees should be able to pull them in a little quicker. But I probably need to set that for Oh no, we got him here. Oh well. Oh, he's a big one. Uh, let's just get this one up here real fast. <clears throat> Come on, big guy. Sorry. You need me to rush on your way in. Get the other one in. We got one more. <clears throat> the bite died off. So I went ahead and bumped, bumped it up to noon. This is just the front side of the afternoon peak. So I just got the poles back in the water. I can see the water blowing up now. Oh, yeah. I always... I always fish for bass while I'm waiting on those guys to hit. There's a lot of bass in here.
See what happens. Coming up on peak. It shouldn't matter. And it didn't. There we go. There we go. It's about always good for one. If you put her down and fight another fish. <laughs> and I like to have these bass in here because if it comes down to when we're getting close to 551 pounds, I want to have some little fish in there, my negotiators as I call them. So I can drop right down under there we go right back down under the 551 and then I can wait on one last big one you know I can if I catch anything small I can release it wait for that big big money fish right at the very end Keep digging the bank for bass. We'll be back with the next catfish. Oh, guys, it's four. What time is it? Four thirty-six in the afternoon. Four thirty-six. Not quite finished up with that peak, but my net is full. And I've got five hundred sixty-five pounds. Fourteen thousand was made today. Take a look at our take. There's a couple of, like I said, my negotiators has bass in there. But we did grab two trophy bass, small and a large mouth, and a lot of catfish. And I ended up, I think, with a couple of trophy catfish. So, yeah, three of those. So, we didn't do too bad on the money count. Uh, the XP wasn't 
wasn't very good today, but I knew that was going to happen because I got my end game sticks here. I'm after the money right now. All right, I'm going to extend to the next day, and I moved spots, so I actually, let's give me, show you, uh, I moved over here to the great parking job. So I'm sit up right here, and that's where I'm going to start the next day. So we're going to extend to the next morning, and I'll see you back on the lake. Good luck for day two. Big catfish, like that. <laughs> pounder no fight gotta love that yeah, that's all right guys I'm back it's the, not the end of day two it's 7:43 in the afternoon I've got a full net um, so we're going to have to, I looked at it to see if I could do some type of strategic release. I'm at 557 pounds. I'm, I'd have to get rid of over six pounds. Two, four, six would be those three fish. You're looking at two, two three, almost 600 bucks. And the best I'm probably going to get if I land a great big trophy flathead is like eight, 800. So I'm not going to deal with it. We're just going to go ahead and take the 14,000 that we got from day two and extend over to day three. So with that, good luck. Jump into day three. Let's take a look at how what day three is going to look like for us here. Day two, we're not going to fish the peak, so day three, no barometer change. Might be a little bit tough. Day four. Day four, I think. Day four is going to be a, a better day. But we're going to get through these peaks, get a full net on day three. Hopefully, it doesn't take us all day to do it. Maybe we can get her all in the first one. Good luck. We're here to make some money. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. Day three, it's 10.53, almost 11 o'clock. Full net. I had to do a strategic release. I was playing around trying to get that last big fish. But... Ended up with 568 pounds for the day. Um, we got a couple of trophies. Trophy pumpkin seed, trophy bluegill. I decided to throw some cheese. Catfish do hit on cheese. I caught more trophy bluegill and sunfish than I did catfish. Um, but we didn't do too bad. We got a couple of, most of them on the small cut and duck muscle today. Duck muscle performed real well, and that's a cheaper bait than the, actually the large cut and the large minnows. So we didn't do too bad. We landed one, two, three, three trophy flatheads for some good money. So we're going to continue on, hit day four. See you later. Good luck. Hey guys, I'm back. Well, it is pretty much the end of day four here. A terrible day. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I got 133 pounds right now. I fished everywhere through all the peaks. Nothing. Which I knew this was going to be a slow day because of that parametric pressure change. It wasn't anything happening. So we're just going to grind out as many as we can grab here at the very end before it rolls over into day five. And hopefully day five will get us much better fish than we're getting here on day four. But, you know, it's fishing. You'll have them days. <laughs> All righty, good luck. Get at them. Tight lines, sticks in the water. Well, guys, we rolled. <clears throat> I ended up with <clears throat> 11 fish. <laughs> 195 pounds, 4,900. $55. Bad day, day four. Bad day. I fished everywhere. I, I walked this whole river, hit every catfish hole I could think of. I pulled one out of here, one out of there, one out of here. 
But we're on day five. <clears throat> we got our challenge done. We got a marker, boy. So we did five days. That's that's what you want to try to do. I mean, if you're going to farm, do the five days. Get your marker, boys done. Because once you do five days on all the lakes, there are waterways. Then then the next challenge is there, and you get some good. You know, you get marker boys for doing the five day ones. When you do the thirty day challenges, you get some pretty good X, X gear, X series gear. So we're gonna hit day five here. We're gonna finish it up. Whatever it takes, it takes. Whatever we get, we get. And then we're gonna head back. So hopefully we have a good day today. Good luck to all you guys. Remember, tight limes and never give up the fight. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, guys, we're done. Five days in the Heron River. Fishing for catfish. But we didn't do too bad on the fifth day. We, we recuperated. We actually, I went to the leeches there at the very end, which saved my ass. Um, ended up with a $14,250 day on day five. Day four kind of sucked. And day five really wasn't all that great in the morning. It was the afternoon and evening hours that, you know, picked me up. So, looks like the trip we looked at. 63,000 and some jump change and the weapon repair was 11,500 the fish net was 5,000 and the rod stand was 500 so we still made some money we had a lot of fun fishing for catfish so it was great I, I enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed it fishing with Buck we got the I mean I fished all the holes that, that hole that I was at that's the most productive hole there I mean, so if you're going to go there, you can average about $14,000 a day. So, and it doesn't cost you a whole lot of money to go there, you know. So, hope you got some value out of that. If you did, hit the like button and we'll see you next time around. Hit the subscribe button and that, but there's a little bell over there and I'll, they'll let you know when I post a new one, which will be pretty soon. So, thanks for fisking with Uncle Buck. Listen to the cricket sing